debate, which has gone into the NSF's heart of operation and its mandate, was first tabled by Swapo MP in the House, Modestus Amte. The main objective of the motion was to establish how NSF assists underprivileged families who have no income to pay for registration fees and appears to be a sore point to some parliamentarians. During a heated debate, MPs felt that the establishment of the fund was and still a good initiative, but while some feel otherwise. What we've been seeing in the media lately, um, in, uh, 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 Mr. Speaker, about NASFAF, I've not even read one single good story about NASFAF. Mm -hmm. I, I do think, Honorable Speaker, that the, the reputation management, particularly when it comes to taxpayers' money that is meant to educate our learners, should inspire confidence so that such an institution with authority can say, pay back the money. And so that young people can say, I will pay back the money because this is an efficient institution that is run efficiently. Is the most, the first thing when it comes to a young person, and we're dealing with young people here who are just graduates from university or who have graduated from one level to the other in the university. So I think she's right, she's on the right track, but the bone of contention here, especially when we're talking about a revolving fund, is when the money gets to the beneficiary. I think that is a bono conversation. Okay. Swapo MP Dr. Toby Opindi says instead of helping to realize the Namibian dream for which it was established, it has now become a national nightmare. NASRAF is, is a, is, is a, is a, continues to play a meaningful role within the context of, of our young people. And I will say, fire the entire management yeah! and, hold, and hold them accountable. Dr. Opindi also questioned why the NSF's headquarters was built in Leafy Eros instead of Katutura, where most beneficiaries are residing. Agriculture, Water and Land Reform Minister Carl Schledwein, while supporting the establishment of NSFAF, says a thorough relook should be done to determine whether it operates within its mandate. We are sitting with something very good that has done pretty well. I see some young people that went through it sitting now in Parliament yes. that would not here. I see our skills level is, is, is growing and I think it is a good thing but we must admit we made bad mistakes. We are hammering on the building. That's only one of many mistakes. I think the, the, the biggest mistake of all was to create a computer system that automatically generated to each applicant and commitment that you are in, you get everything. And with that it was without any discretion. So those mistakes must be fixed. Schledwein also condemned the building of its headquarters, saying it was done illegally. Other MPs also called for a review of NSF's funding model to provide financial literacy to the beneficiaries and ensure that students utilize the money prudently for its intended purpose. Debate continues on the subject in the legislative chamber.